Good morning to you and welcome to my study and a blessed Sunday morning to you and a blessed May. Can you believe it's already May and yet it is. This is the first Sunday uh, in May and I hope that you have had a uh, blessed week. We're having some uh, very unusual weather. It's been being low 50s in the morning and get up into the 80s during the uh, daytime, but it's a uh, good walking weather early in the morning. So praise the Lord for that. Uh, we're still adjusting to the uh, COVID-19 life. Uh, thankfully, uh, all of our people are well, and as far as I know, they're doing uh, great, and we just praise God for that. We've had some good breakthroughs in prayer as we've prayed for people. The Lord has blessed and ministered to us, and so we just uh, praise uh, Him for that. Uh, give you a little uh, update on the COVID-19 in our state, if you don't know. Found like 35,000 infections uh, to this point. Unfortunately, over 1,300 deaths. That's, uh, you know, tremendous amount of death and hurt and grief in people's lives, and so we need to be praying for them. We have uh, got about 135 uh, cases uh, in our own county now, and so I guess there's more testing and more people are testing uh, positive. And uh, two deaths, I believe, and so uh, we feel very fortunate compared to a lot of other places. And uh, it's good to, to be uh, cautious uh, even now. Uh, we need to take the, uh, you know, the separation serious and not be doing everything that we normally do to protect each other's health. Uh, you never know who might uh, be carrying it, so we do need to be uh, careful. We do have uh, a schedule change. Uh, they have relaxed the restrictions some, and uh, we can have 25% of our capacity in our building now. And so this coming Wednesday uh, night, uh, we will have prayer meeting at 7 p.m. We'll have to scatter out and practice social and physical distance, distancing, but uh, we will uh, have prayer meeting Wednesday night at 7 p.m. No Sunday service yet, uh, unfortunately, but it is coming. I don't know when, but it will be down the road not too far away. So if you can join us on Wednesday night, that would be great, but if you have underlying uh, problems or issues, it makes you very susceptible, or if you're uh, older, uh, you may not feel safe coming out. And we understand that, and we're okay with that. And so uh, let's do what's uh, safe and best for everybody. But we will meet this coming Wednesday night in our place and pray together. National Day of Prayers on Thursday. We will be uh, giving attention to that as well on Wednesday night, praying for our nation. We really need prayer. We need some breakthroughs. And so uh, come out if you can and help us pray. Um, we will continue doing messages uh, like this on the website for everybody's uh, consumption and your spiritual health to try to keep you moving forward. Uh, during these days, you really have to be on top of things spiritually. You need to be a spiritual theater. You need to be a personal worshiper. You need to be uh, allowing the Lord to minister to you. There's a lots, uh, lots of uh, opportunities around us. Uh, so, uh, and our families need us to be, uh, you know, on top of things spiritually. So, uh, be encouraged. Uh, let's stay with it. Let's feed on the word and. Uh, uh, give ourselves to our personal time of devotion and worship of the Lord. I will say on Wednesday nights, we will continue to um, do the uh, pray in place for those who can't get out. We'll send an email on Wednesday uh, afternoon, and um, you can uh, pray with us uh, at home uh, off of that email list, and uh, there's just lots of things to pray for. And like I say, the Lord's been good and has given us some good breakthroughs and some powerful breakthroughs. And so uh, I encourage you to join us on Wednesday night for prayer at home as you uh, stay in place, let's pray in place, and ask uh, the Lord for mercy and grace upon our country uh, and on ourselves, our, our church family. The Lord has really been good to us, and I just praise the Lord for that. We do have uh, a legacy and vision that we're still praying about. John had uh, two meetings that I know of this week 
things are continuing to move forward uh, in that area. Uh, and uh, I think he met with uh, the Walker uh, Douglas Group, uh, the Palm Coast, uh, the auditorium folks. I know he met with Monica one time this week, uh, but uh, things are still moving forward. I know it's a slow process, but let's hang in there. We're going to see the Lord do some uh, great things in the near future. All right, uh, we want to go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, Brother Caleb, are you on the line there? Yes, sir, I'm here. Okay, well, if you would, uh, pray for our service today and pray for our folks and all the stuff that's going on around us. Uh, but just lead us to the throne, brother. Absolutely. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just we thank you for the ability to still be able to join together yes. and worship you and just dedicate some time to you and focus on you in this season of just chaos and distractions. And Lord, we, we know that you're still doing great things. Um, yes. We sang last week, you're our living hope. And Lord, we just know that if we allow you to fill every household and your present to, presence to just fill the atmosphere as yes. we sang about, um, great things can happen, Lord, and we just we're thankful for that. Lord, we pray for all the people that have been affected by this virus. Uh, we just ask that you use this time to shine through, Lord, yes. reach people that we may not would normally reach. Lord, help us to be a light for you as we go through these times help us to help people to see peace in us and know where that peace comes from which is in you lord yes. uh, we pray for pastor today help me, as lord. he brings the message for us uh, we just have said you help us to dedicate our hearts and our minds to this time and really focus on you um, help us to work on being restored in you, Lord, as we, we've yes. got plenty of time right now to just focus on you. We thank you for Pastor David and Miss Donna. We thank you for just allowing them to be able to continue to lead us. Lord, just let this message go as you would have it to today. Yes. Let your will be done at this time. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Caleb, and blessing to you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. One other thing that uh, I would like to say is uh, we want to uh, thank uh, folks who are joining us t with, uh, you know, on virtual church for the first time or you don't uh, normally go to church or you haven't been to our church. We want to thank you for uh, connecting uh, with us and we pray that uh, the Lord will bless you and keep you safe. Uh, we're, uh, you know, praying for you uh, as well. We're praying for our county and our area. One of the things that uh, happened yesterday, it's a tremendous thing, is Feed Palm Coast. Uh, and we want to thank the Lord for that. I, th I think a lot of people got ministered to. I think that was a tremendous ex success. And so we praise God for that. But uh, all, of, uh, all of us have spiritual needs. And we're glad that people are connecting with the Lord in numerous ways. But if you uh, are new to our channel and new to being with us, we are delighted that you've come to be a part of us uh, and to uh, see what the Lord is doing. May the Lord bless you and your uh, family. And again, uh, Miss Donna and I'd like to say to all of our folks, you know, and everybody, we miss you. We love you and uh, hope to see a few of you on Wednesday night uh, for a prayer. And then uh, a little bit later on in the season, We'll be able to come back together, and it will be a wonderful uh, day when we're able to have Sunday morning church again. Amen. 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 All righty. Good day, and God bless you, and I'll see you on the other video.